Hello and welcome to the Stamping Society's February Tutorial Bundle. I'm Angela Myritz reed of Stamping Beauty in Christchurch, New Zealand and today I'm sharing my tutorial using the Friendly Hello Celebration stamp set. If you live in New Zealand and would like copies of the current catalogues, please message me. I'd love to send them to you. Okay, so let's make this card. I've started with a basic white card base, a fold in half. This one is um, a different size. This I've done in metric and this one I've done in inches. So I'll have both measurements um, in my tutorial. And then next I've got, um, I've already gone ahead and done this, embossed this with, with the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. And then what I'm going to do is um, create a little layer here and instead of using dimensionals, I've got a couple of pieces of cardstock that I've glued together. It's just the backing from the um, designer series paper. So I'm just going to glue that. And I've made it just slightly smaller than this um, piece here. And I'm just going to tear it to the back. So as you can see, it's just a few um, millimetres or um, it's a couple of about a quarter of an inch maybe around both sides and then I'm just going to glue that onto the card base right so I'll just set that aside to dry then next I'm going to do the coloured panel and I'm just going to bring in some old paper and then what I do is just add a little bit of the stamp and seal and then pop this down so that it just holds it in place, makes life a little bit easier. And then I've got a scrap bit of card that I'm going to use to put my fingers on so that I don't end up putting um, oils from my skin onto it. And then I've got, this is the polished pink and I've got a pink um, or a blending brush that I've used for pinks just because it does stain, it does wash off and doesn't um, come onto your projects but I just find it easier just to keep colours, um, brushes for certain colours so I just put it onto the stamp pad and then just pop a bit on there just so I don't get big blobs of colour and then just start working off the paper and gradually come on now what I've done is I've made the piece of cardstock slightly um, larger so that I can trim it down so that you don't get that dark edge on your final um, panel. I have just re inked this so it is quite dark, but it does soak into the paper and um, changes over a little bit of time so don't worry too much and by the time you've um, added your bits and pieces onto the um, onto the card it's not so noticeable I'm not sure why it is doing that so much I wasn't doing that before but anyway as I say it will cover up And just um, keep on adding colour and then just bringing it down so that it's lighter as you go down the card. And I've found it doesn't really matter what direction you go in, just as long as you keep on adding the colour and lightening it as you come down. does take a wee while to get that colour on there, just need a little bit of patience. And I've found any time I have rushed it I've ended up not being quite as happy with my results so it does pay to just take it slowly. And also sometimes it's, you know start on a different side and work that in because we do have a tendency to go from the same side and once that's okay if you, you can always go back and add more bring in the um, daffodil delight 
What I'm going to do is just turn this around. Put that on there and do the same thing. Start up here. See, because I started a bit of a blob, I can just add colour to cover that up. Start bringing it down over the pink, towards the pink. You can also come from the other side. Always feels a little bit awkward. Oopsie, it's starting to move a little bit. We always have our um, sides we start off with. I guess it depends sometimes if you're right-handed or left-handed or what feels more comfortable. So just keep on working away. And then I'm just going to bring that on top of the pink. And that sort of creates a bit of a orangey tinge to it. just want to get that ridge out there. I sort of feel like I've got a bit of a add a little bit more dark down there. Bring that up. And then when, when you're happy with that you want to set that aside to dry because we're going to emboss on it and when you emboss on it if it's not dry it will um, the powder will stick so you want to get that off just twist a little bit and it will come off the bottom so just set that aside to dry and I have done one already so and as I said this is slightly um, larger than I need so I'm just going to cut it down um, just bring my cutter in and so this is the one that I've done in the inches so I'm taking off um, quarter of an inch off each edge just to um, make it a bit smaller so quarter of an inch just all the way around which um, in the centimetres I've done on that one is five millimetres. If you're not worried about that edge, you don't need to do this step. Just make it to the size you like. All right, so that's done. And then, then I'm going to emboss it. So, obviously that is the right way up. So you just want to still do your embossing buddy and hopefully it is a bit dry enough to not absorb the um, powder. And then what I'll do is bring in my foam mat. I might just pop a bit of paper over that because the Versamark is going to go over the edge. So. So down the bottom, I've just, I can't see them totally because they're um, under the bow, stamped that over the edge. And then I've also used this little stamp here, which is stamp, uh, that one there, just with those little berries or buds. And a bit hard to see, but I've just poked that. Um, can't see it all. 
maybe I might, what I'll do is emboss that first and then I'll be able to see exactly where I um, need to stamp that. In fact, I can just do that. So as you can see, it has picked up a little bit there, but you can just easily brush that off. So before I go ahead and emboss, uh, heat set that, I'll just add that. And I did add one here. Let's tuck that in there. And one down here. So I'll just pop some more powder over that. a little bit it's not too bad but there's a little bit just tucked in here that's not quite as noticeable as it would be if it was on um, uh, black paper so I'll just heat set that might be a moment to do the flower at the top but what um just put a little bit more powder on there i don't want um the other little bit of flower i did want to just keep that um so i've created a little mask here it wouldn't probably have mattered too much but um so i've got a wee mask there and then i'm just going to stamp that image up line that up over there and you can see it's going to just not stamp those leaves there, those um, petals there so I'll just you can totally um, miss that step out if you like if you're not too worried so I've lost that it still has stamped a little um, so I'll just rub that bit off there <laughs> trying to be too clever I think right so I'll just hit that managed to create that little gap so what I'm going to do by this just use um, the blender pen and just use a little bit of the Versamark ink just draw that in there do pop that on good we don't really know need to go to all that trouble but it's done now so the next thing I'm going to do is do the splatters because then I can leave that to dry as well so I just got a bit of the craft ink onto here just on a little block and then I've got an old aqua painter so it does get very messy and then just add a little bit of water, not too much, but um, and then I'm just going to flick that onto there. So the runnier it is, the thicker the blobs you get, I find. So as little as much as you like. And then just yeah, pop that aside out of the way to try. 
and the next thing I'm going to do is prepare the sentiment and I've got a piece of black cardstock and I'll just prep that and put my block under here on my foam mat and then I've got the sentiment hope you have the best birthday white embossing Just, it's not very clean image for some reason it's not done a very good job of the embossing buddy And if you particularly don't like the little white, so you've got some little white specks, I just use the Stamp and Write marker, the black one, and just colour over them. Just tidies that up, makes it a little bit sharper. And then the next thing I'm going to do is trim that down. So I'll just bring my little mini guillotine. just fractions off which is great okay so oh, I don't think that's straight now <laughs> uh, so I heard a knock at the door it put me off my I must need to put a sign up and recording in happening at the moment right so that's good that's done so then I just want to assemble the card and um, I'm going to create this bow behind here. It's um, kind of a Tammy bow, but um, with her lovely, she does those lovely, um, you know, more than one. But what I'm doing is because I'm not so good at tying them, I'm just doing my cheating bow. So I've got my, what I'm going to do is just trim this bit of ribbon in half. Make it a bit finer and see, it's sticking to my label now. Just run that through there. And then I'm going to just have that piece sticking out there and then come round to a loop here. And then oops, a little bit small. Loop it there. Loop it there. always trim off bits later and then do the same thing again 
if you don't I don't know that I've got, I've only done two <clears throat> oopsie um I've only done the those two there I haven't got any extras so I'll just have this one here have another loop there another loop there and then just trim off that extra there easily use that on something else and then I've done the same with the twine so I'm just going to add it's a bit tricky to put the more tape on I'm just going to add a, a um, glue dot onto there get stuck to this <laughs> oh dear right something's gonna right yay and then just do the same thing just take that around there around here the loop and out there so hopefully that will look okay you can fiddle around with it on that side a little bit if you like and then just add some dimensionals to that um, don't go in quite close there fiddle with it too much just in case it ends up coming off and then then we're going to be ready to pop it all together so hopefully that is dry and I'll just add some so just in case it's not I don't want to move it too much so I'll just place it straight down I'm going to smudge the um the white craft ink decent amount of those on there there's some half ones that could be there Oopsie. that's much done no that's good you could always um, use your heat gun to dry it a little bit if you like or, and if you didn't want to use all your dimensionals you could do that packing thing again that I did packing panel And then we'll just want to make that sort of equal distance in the equal distance from each side. And then I'm going to add this sentiment. So roughly work out where you want it to go. Could take it up a little bit so it doesn't um, cover too much of the bottom flowers. And you can fluff with those as well. And then maybe trim a little bit off if you don't want so much. And then I'm just going to add um, some of these gorgeous iridescent um, rhinestone in the new catalogue. They're really pretty and they've got take on that sort of pinky colour. So I've put a few of those on here just to add a bit of sparkle. So this medium sized one here, smaller one stuck here, down here, and a couple more up here. You can add as many as few as you like, just whatever look you want. Um, and there you have it so um, just um, this one's a bit darker as you can see I've used a bit more colour so just depending on what look you're going for um, as to how much ink you add with your blending brush 
so thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you again next month bye for now